first got here, um, the amount of talent wasn't high uh, 13, 14 years ago, but now the talent has come extremely, extremely high. So it's great to see that, and it's purely from the fact that rugby in the Philippines is growing. The mission for Philippine rugby is to see a fully homegrown national team competing and winning gold in the SEA Games. So, and you know, looking at our foundation programs, looking at our grassroots programs, that's where we're definitely heading. We have the likes of Janelle Madrona and Lito Ramirez, both underprivileged orphans, grown the game from a young age. So they've learned it when they were 10, 12 years old, and now they're Janelle's 22, I believe, Lito's 24, so and you can see their success both on a local scene and in an international scene. So basically, I guess you could say that our new, our new tagline moving forward is Saturday is Rugby Day, because in the end, you know, I know a lot of people here you know, will tend to be in, in malls and will tend to be indoors. We want to try and get them outdoors, so the culture of it is to, to come out and get involved and, and play the game of rugby. So I think changing the culture in the Philippines is very important, but the only way we can do that is to promote sport. So having access to fields and resources is very important. Um, giving kids the ability and the opportunity to, to play sport, um, that's what we want to try and do. So we want to not only build rugby players, but we want to build athletes. We want to walk down the street and, and see kids playing sport at you know, accessible fields and making sure that they can get out in the sun and have a good time.